Hi, I'm Brad Sweezy, Vice President of the Public Relations Marketing Group. And today I want to talk to you about five things businesses are doing wrong with their websites. Your website, as you know, is probably one of the first things that people are going to see when they're looking to do business with somebody. So you don't want to lose potential business by having a website that is outdated and isn't up to speed with what's going on now. The first thing is your website is too generalized. You know, you got to realize your competitive advantage in your business and then look to highlight those things where you have a unique selling proposition or advantage over your competition. You know, you hit that item hard. And so when someone's looking for you, they see, all right, this is something, buddy, this is a company that can help me with my problem. So you want to make it easy for them to do it. Show examples, show testimonials, anything along those lines that uh, are useful for them to convert to you and try you versus somebody else. Another big thing is no mobile optimization. Now in this day and age, most people, I've got my smartphone right here, most people are looking for your business on their phones. They're at a stoplight, they're looking for things, they want quick uh, information that they can find easily. So if your website was designed in the 2000s, then believe me, there's a lot of them out there you need to pull out your phone, pull up your website and take a look at it and see, can somebody who's looking for your particular business or service, are they able to find the information they need quickly, click the call, all those kind of things, a form that pops up right away so that they can find the information accurately and you wanna do it fast because that's important. Slow loading times, that's a nice segue there. So Google, when they're factoring in websites, they look at the mobile load time, the speed time. So something that looks very snazzy on your desktop, you know, with the scrolling pictures and maybe videos and all those kind of things, those can impact your loading times on the smartphone. So if you've got slow loading times, people are going to not wait for it. They're going to go somewhere else. So you want to make sure that you have a quick loading website. Go to Google's homepage. There's really nothing on it. It's quick. It's very hard to find a, a website that's quicker than that. The other thing is no independent reviews from third-party sites. Now, I've been to many company websites, and you know, and I know, there's never a bad review on the website. You know why? Because the company is only highlighting those testimonials that suit what they're trying to do. So most consumers, and I know you are a consumer for many things, you don't believe those testimonials. You go to Google My Business, you check out the company, and that's where you're going to get a better picture of what that company does. So what you have to do is use independent reviews like Google My Business, which is the big one in the room. But then what you do is through a, a software program, you can incorporate those reviews into your website, and you can even set levels so that if it's a one-star review, it won't come in on your website, but it'll still have Google My Business reviews on there. So that saves a... Um, a client from a potential client or customer from going, all right, now I'm going to open up another window. I'm going to look for your business. And then if you're using something like what we do for people, Google ads, a competitor might steal your business anyway. So that's one of the things you want to do. The fifth thing is hard to find contact information. If you can't find it in five seconds, you're losing people. And in fact, I'd say two seconds, you know, don't bury the important information you only generally get revenue into your corporation when people contact you. And that's really what you wanna do. You wanna have them contact you. So you have enough information on the website that somebody goes, all right, there's enough here. Let me, let me call the person. So if you have so much stuff on your website, I call it research by paralysis, or research paralysis. Somebody's just gonna research all the stuff on your website and never bother calling you. So that's uh, something you wanna do. We offer a free SEO report and it's a local SEO report. So when you're dealing with, with people who are coming into your business, nine times out of 10, you're a physical, physically located business. And so you wanna make sure that the people who are living around you can find you easily. So we'll do a free SEO report for you, give you a localized SEO report, give you some tips on how to improve your website, et cetera. So if you'd like that, you know, fill out the contact information. You can always call us and uh, we'll go from there. In review, the, you know, the five things with your websites, you, you've got to incorporate your uh, competitive advantage into your website. Make you yourself stand out. Have a responsive design. Be aware of your loading times. Don't cherry pick testimonials. I mean, if you do it, 
well, nobody's going to believe you anyway. So I don't believe any customer testimony on a website. If somebody's going to take the time and put it on an independent website, then I'll believe it. And finally, make your contact information easy to find. If you want a free consultation with us, just give us a call, fill out the form on the website. If you want that free SEO report, you can do the same and we'll, we'll go from there. So thanks and have a good day.